Hi there, Rhonda without an H here with you today. I want to show you my own personal Christmas journal. Um, I don't know why I'm in that mode. I'm just, it just turned fall here. We had a, a hot summer and it, the temperatures were in the 90s um, consistently. It was much hotter than I like. And then all of a sudden, one day it just, <laughs> it was in the 60s and, and cooler and it's raining and oh my goodness. So when it starts to get fall, I start to think about Christmas and gearing up for that. And I just gave away a Christmas journal that I made to one of my subscribers who entered. Um, but I made one previous to that and that's this one. So I'm going to show you what I did last year. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll just do that. So this one is done from a hardbound book. Um, the book was a burgundy red. I added some Tim Holtz, those ends, corner, they're corners actually, to protect um, the corners of the book. So I added those and I added some dictionary page and uh, an image. I put gold around it. Um, I did my stitching and then I covered that up with some Tyvek paper and did a gold paint over that to give it a gold shimmer and this is a um, just a nice ribbon that I liked. I like the colors of the reds and gold and that kind of thing at Christmas time. Love it. Okay, so I combined for myself, um, I like to do the religious as well as the fun Santa and snowman and all that kind of thing. I just like to, that's my own personal thing. I like to combine them, but I don't have a problem with whatever anyone does. Some people don't like to do religious and that's fine. Um, this is just me. So this is my Christmas journal. I started it in 2016 and we'll see how far it goes. Don't know. So I have included cards and images and stitching and um, papers to scrapbook in. This is a German book so I have no idea what it says. I did look it up one time um, and it was something about like a travel guide or something and I've kept some of the images, some of the pages but taken out a lot of the book. I have put in here some of my favorite recipes that I like to make during the holidays. Uh, Christmas giving, this is bottle bread and the recipe and what we did with it. A um, little bit of journaling. Here's a tuck spot and the washi tape is gold and I have put uh, some gold paint, painty papers on some of my pages. Um, done some rubber stamping with some of my images and some other things that I made, recipes, at uh, Christmas time. By the way, these Andy Mint cookies that you make, eh, they're okay. I did them so I put it in here, but it wasn't a real hit. <laughs> so, one I won't repeat, but it was part of history. Um, images, more stamping. I did quite a bit of stamping with some of my Christmas stamps on this one. And some of my Christmas, my birds uh, that I had downloaded. Um, can't remember where I purchased these from, but these are really nice. And I have aged it, done coffee dyeing of paper and aging of my pages. So we'll just kind of flip through here, stitching some pockets on, deli paper, here's a snowman that I stamped on. These are images, tags, and I've journaled on these. 
um, these, I don't know if you can see those. Those were ornaments that I made for my grandkids last year. I make ornaments every Christmas for my grandkids. And it was snowmen last year. And they each have their own colors that they like. And so I kind of gear that to them. All right. And here we've got a couple of tags. So this is my fudge recipe. I send fudge every year to children and grandchildren. They expect it. It's part of Christmas. Um, this is my bottle bread, my zucchini bottle bread. So these are fun. This is just a fun way to put on the back of these. And as you can see, I am using the tags. I'm journaling. I'm doing, you know, uh, putting things in here. So they're not only pretty, but they're useful. More journaling. I write a list of all the Christmas, what I do for people, what we give out, um, whether it's made or not made, just so that I don't repeat all the time because I my memory's not as good. All right, so here's a couple of doilies, more of the gold, more of the stamping, uh, deli paper, more stamping and writing on my tags. Little booklet in here. Now, this was as far as I went. Okay, for last Christmas. So now I'm showing you my book. Okay, so I've got more places to write. Kinda cute got some lace and some bling and this is a sandwich bag that white sandwich bag that I like to work with this is just a fun tag I've used washi tape blacks and golds more images that I have stamped washi tape, bling, pockets with images, pockets with lace, and more little journal, little booklet that can be journaled in, recipes, all those kinds of things that we like to do, deli paper, um, book paper, ledger paper just a, another sack with more images come on come on where are you at more of the birds i just thought they were really sweet <laughs> i just have to do that you guys crinkle crinkle <laughs> All right, I know, I'm crazy. And here's some of that, more of that German paper, and I have put some gold paint on that, just kind of, just because I think it's pretty. And I do that, when I do that, I use a credit card or an old, you know, one of those types of things, and I just squeeze a little bit um, out, and then I will take it, and I just start to, you know, just swipe it and wipe it down. And this side is just leftovers. This was the side that kind of got swiped and then this was sort of what was left over. I just like the look of it. More tags. In future years, this will all be journaled in. Here's a sweet little scene of Christmas. Um, recipe. This is another one of my Swedish braid bread that I have made many years that I give away to people. It's just this, it's this delicious big, it's, it's really good. Um, here's a little insert that's got pockets. There's a pocket. Here's a pocket. 
turn it over. Here's a pocket. Here's a pocket. And there's a pocket. And there's a pocket. So this is pretty cool. I did get this idea from someone on YouTube. But this was before I was doing YouTube uh, videos. And I honestly have no idea. But if you look up, type in... Um, I think it was like for a Midori style, somebody from a file folder made. But if anybody knows that, and if they'll post that in the description below, I will be very happy to give this person a heads up and put a link to her video because I, I appreciated it very much. It was fun to do. Um, painted papers with the gold and added some sponging some burgundy around the edges in amongst the gold as you can see the colors i've been using are golds and blacks and white and the burgundy the reds the deeper reds more printouts just fun printouts that uh, i either have uh, taken off Pinterest or that I have uh, paid for on Etsy and um, just reprint. See, lots of little pockets, you guys. Lots of fun little. This was a, a bit of lace that I made from uh, some paper. More bling. You know, more washi. More journaling, journaling, journaling. Um, here's another tuck spot. Here's some coffee dyed, wonderful deli paper. Here is an embellishment with the paper clip. That's a fun thing to do. Dictionary page here. Uh, again, the gold journaling. Um, these are glassine bags with tags, images, stamping, journaling, spots, spots, spots. I have three signatures in here, you guys, uh, in this little book. So I've got a lot of places to journal. But I've also got, you know, fun things that I can do. Um... I've just really had a good time. This is a pocket right here. Ooh, it needs a tag. Uh-oh, I'll have to put a tag in there. Oh, well, for now, let's just do this, huh? A little sack that I've tea dyed. Envelope, I guess, really. Um, that I've tea dyed and put a little tag in. This was from an old... Uh, card that I got somewhere and another one that I cut open with a tag and these I bought off um, Etsy these tags some more of that stamping around with the gold I love it with the burgundy and the gold oh isn't she sweet I love these old vintage images. Oh, I just, you know, don't you, when you think of Christmas, you guys, don't you think of, I think we all want that old nostalgic, um, a perfect, amazing, whatever, you know, that we see maybe on some of the old movies or whatever. And the reality is we probably don't have any of those Christmases, anything like that. Because we live in the real world. <laughs> and sometimes we fight with our siblings or parents or kids or, you know. Oh. But it's nice to think about those things. And at Christmas time, I just love the thoughts of the vintage. Um, all of that. Here is another one of those pockets out of a file folder that I made that has all these tuck spots. Here's a nice image of the nativity. We've got a little belly band here with some stickers, Christmas stickers. And those are cute, but they don't match in here at all. I'm going to have to switch those out because 
I don't think I like them in this book. Well, in fact, let's just take them out. Okay, they're gone. All right. This is, oh, I remember doing this. Um, this is the night before Christmas. This is the original uh, version, and it's called A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore in 1823. So I found that and reduced it and included that in here. I really kind of liked that. And then more tuck spots, more images with the gold and the German pages. Oh, I just love, 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 love all this. More papers, stamping, some different ledger paper than this. Another one of these embellishments that can hold pages together, tags in or whatever, with the paper clip. Pretty paper. Another little pocket, little tuck spot. And here we have, isn't that sweet? This, guys is from an envelope. So you can write here, you can journal here. I took this from, you know, the, the window. I don't know if you can see that, but I was just in this, you know, you got to use it up and, and I love these window envelopes. And so this is what I made with that and put it in this little Santa pocket here. More journaling. Here's the center of this one. Um, pocket with the paper. This is kind of fun, you guys, because I haven't looked in this uh, since last year. Okay, this is an envelope. Part of an envelope that I made a little. You can see the stamp here, if you look closely. Let it snow. So just colored that, added a little bit of coffee dyed deli paper, tied it up, and you've got a fun little, little note. Deli paper, ledger paper, ledger paper, deli paper. Um, more images. This is an envelope here that folds out. Let's see if we can... Make this work so you can see it. Um, just some fun images, more washi tape, the red and black, and here is another. This is the inside of an envelope. See that? And I have made a little booklet out of this. Done some stamping some of my small images. I have put Santa on one side and religious on the other side. And like I said, that works for me. Um, so that just tucks in there. I love these old Santa images too. They're so pretty. All right. So we have another fun image and these I purchased on Etsy. Here's another fun image with your uh, of Mary and Joseph and uh, some gold washi tape. Love the gold. Here's a German page. We've got washi tape all over the place. Another pocket with we have this is an image from the German book. And I have just added some gold paint to that. This is an image from a card, an old Christmas card. I loved that. Another image from a Christmas card. And then two tags. This one I made and this one, of course, I printed out. And another embellishment with my paper clip. Jelly paper, yum! Another belly band with a tag in here, an image. 
sneak in there. Come on, you guys. And another little pocket. So we have another pocket that you can put little notes in, images, and here is the back cover, the inside of the back cover. And there you have it. So, this was really fun. <laughs> I'm glad I did this because now I'm, I'm really quite excited to um, write in my journal again uh, for Christmas and what we make and do and bake and all that good kind of stuff. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on this journey, for taking a look at my own personal flip-through journal, and I hope you will have a fabulous day. Bye now.